boy, am I hungry tonight. Got all these good things that's ready to serve up. Got some lean chicken. We've got my fresh vegetables and these really good roasted red potatoes. And boy, this is a very delicious piece of rosemary bread. I can't wait to dig in. Hi, this is Julie McCann with the GetYouInShape.com team. And I'm here to talk to you about the tip of the week related to portion control. I will get back to that plate I just showed you a minute ago, but I wanted to use that as an emphasis in terms of showing you what the typical dinner looks like for many of you. I know it does at least for me. And if you are like me, you probably grew up in an environment where you were part of the clean plate club or you wanted to make sure you finished your, all of your food because there were those starving children in Africa. So if you had that mentality and you also, over the last 20, 20 years, realized and witnessed that all of our portions, both in restaurants, fast foods, and even at home, continue to grow, then we've got this mentality of cleaning our plate and we continue to eat all the food on that plate, guess what happens? Our waste continue to grow. So we need to get back to an understanding of what really is an ideal portion. So I want to cover with you some of the tips that I've learned over the years that will help you visualize and get certain cues related to good portion control. One of those you can use is a baseball. If you visualize a baseball, that's about one cup and that really is what you want to use for visualization for how much cereal you should eat in the morning or maybe even uh, a cup of pasta. Another good cue is a tennis ball, slightly smaller than that baseball. And that represents roughly two-thirds cup. This is a good example of size potato, yes, potato, that you should eat, and also maybe a dinner roll. Another good cue is a hockey puck, all sports-related so far. Um, that's a good muffin or biscuit. That's about what you want to look for in terms of size and thickness there. And if you look at this golf ball, that represents roughly two tablespoons. And that is maybe a serving of hummus, or if you put two of those together, maybe a serving of hot cereal. Then we'll move over to these dice. I've got three of them together, and if you take that and look at it next to your thumb, they're roughly about the same size, at least for my thumb, so you have to be careful on the size hand you have there, but that's a serving of cheese. That's all you want in terms of cheese. Then look at this deck of cards, about the same size as my palm here. So either one of those cues can tell you about how much you need for chicken, turkey, or your other lean meat. Then this CD, that is probably a good example for this type of uh, slices of chicken you want on your sandwich, or turkey, or other lean meats. You want maybe two, three, four of these at max, or even a pancake in the morning. You don't want a pancake much bigger than that. So look for these visual cues and they'll really help you today in starting to manage your health, your weight, and just taking these simple steps on your plate today. Okay, now let's revisit that plate that we showed you earlier. First of all, let's look at the plate itself. Right now, this plate measures about 11 inches in diameter. The typical plate 20 years ago was 9 to 9.5 inches in diameter. But if you are using a plate this size, one thing you can do is visualize its sections and put it into three sections. The biggest section and half of the plate should be your vegetables, all those nice green, colorful vegetables, yellow, greens, reds. And on the two smaller sections, you want to put your lean meats and then your healthy carbohydrates like whole grain pastas and things like that. So let me show you what I did to my plate. First of all, I downsized it. I think Cynthia talked about this last week in downsizing plates in her snack tip. What I've done here now is created a very full plate with some of the same things, but I substituted those starchy potatoes for a more healthy vegetable choice. I've got some roasted summer squash and zucchini and sun-dried tomatoes over or un, over a bed of um, whole grain pasta, whole wheat pasta. I've also kept my crisp, fresh vegetables over here. I could have a small dinner roll if I chose and um, make that whole wheat. And what I've done is cut that chicken breast in half and now it more measures equally to this deck of cards. I took some consideration into the fact that this is a very thick piece of chicken. So now I've got something that is very filling and I control my proportions as well. So it'll help me in losing weight because I, and I haven't counted a single calorie, I haven't weighed a single thing, but I've got those visual cues to help me along. 
The last thing I want to touch on with you today, now that I've given you all these cues to help you control your portions at home and really even at a restaurant, now you've got these visual aids, you can think about what they serve you and make a decision whether or not you need to put a portion of that into a to-go box right away or better yet, split it with somebody. But what about those times when you are thirsty, for instance, and you just want to grab a soda and think, oh, I need to grab something healthier than that. So turn to 100% apple juice, good choice. And this bottle seems reasonable in terms of a can of soda, but in reality, this is a two-serving bottle. So you really need to pay close attention to your labels on something like that. And then we've got those almonds that Cynthia talked about last week, and she recommended about a fourth of a cup. Well, what really is a fourth of a cup? I pour that into my hand and it fits nicely. If I'm just grabbing a, a bunch of almonds, I know it's about a palm of my hand. Or I count them out and it's somewhere between 20 and 25 almonds. That's a good serving. And then the last thing I want to touch on with you is wine. Every one of us, but now and then, I shouldn't say every one of us, but many of us, like to enjoy a glass of wine from time to time. And one thing that you need to be aware of is there's so many sized glasses that people serve you in or restaurants serve you in, and all of them, when they serve you, look like about the same amount of wine. This is a glass, this is a glass, all of them are glasses. When in reality, if you look at the smaller one on the end, it is the only one that represents what a serving of wine truly is, somewhere between three and four ounces. The rest of them are almost one and a half times that amount. So you really need to be aware and careful of those liquid portions as well as some of the solid things. That's it for now. Read the article. Hope you have a great day and have benefited from this information. Feel free to share it with your friends.